before you today not just an educator, but as someone has walked a mile in very uncomfortable and very broken shoes. And probably as someone who fancies shoes and technology at the same time. But before I ask you to walk your own shoes of innovation, let me briefly walk you through my own journey before I started wearing these shoes that I'm wearing right now. Picture this, a college student in Manila, Philippines, who needs to take a two hour bus drive just to get ready for my 7.30 a.m. class. And I, have to do, I had to do that every day. And every time that I come in my classroom, I had to wait for my shoes to dry up and listen to my professors. And that was my college life. I had to walk through the flooded waters of Manila every day. It was a very difficult journey for me. And my parents were very poor that they cannot buy a replacement for the shoes that I needed for my education. But it didn't matter. Eventually, I was able to graduate with highest honors and receive a medal from the president of my country for academic excellence. And I was able to find a school to employ teachers and they have paid me decently that I was able to save and buy my own shoes. So I started saving and I started buying my own shoes. So I got so fascinated with shoes that they became a part of my personality up to this day. So here are some of my favorite shoes from my shoe rack. Looking back at my journey, those shoes that I wear and the shoes that I am going to buy, I think they're not just shoes for me. These shoes are symbolisms of the challenges I have to face every day and the resilience I needed. They also sparked my first love for shoes, not for their style, well, not just for their style, but for their story, for their necessity, for their ability to take us places. This journey from worn out shoes to my fascination of footwear is very much similar to my career in education. Just as I learned to value shoes, I learned the value of technology in thinking about how it can reshape my adventures, whether it's educational, professional, or personal. In a world of fashion, shoes are a statement of creativity and individuality. Similarly, in technology, our tools, the platforms that we use, are the unique ways that we actually approach our own learning, our own adventures, the way that we communicate, and the way that we look into innovation. Every well-crafted shoe begins with a design, a purpose. In education, every tech tool that we use should drive us to innovation. But what is innovation? Innovation at its core is stepping beyond what's familiar. It's about pushing the boundaries of what you already know to the things that you dare to imagine. It's about reimagining possibilities and crafting transformation. Similar to a well-crafted pair of shoes, innovation propels us forward urging us to explore, to question, to imagine, and to redefine the very fabric of our purpose. It is in the spirit of exploration and reinvention that I want you to think about innovation as basically trying to find the right fit into your own style. The key to a great shoe is its fit. Similarly, in education, it's very much like finding the right technology that fits your own purpose, your own style. So my goal for today is to actually encourage you to think about how are you going to find your own style? How are you going to find the right tech tool so that you can write your own story? Because every shoe tells a story. Just as every tech tool would explore our own adventures and give us new learning experiences, with confidence and probably a dash of style. We all have access to the modern technologies, iPhones, tablets, 
But what do we really do with them? So today, I challenge you to answer some questions so that you can walk your own shoes of innovation. Consider the shoes that you're wearing in the tech world. Are you using them for the right purpose or is it really your own style? A study in Japan indicates that there is greater brain activity if you are writing on paper rather than writing on a tablet or a smartphone. Sometimes I prefer to use my laptop, especially if I need to write something because I have a bad handwriting. Think about the tech tools that you are using. Are you using this tech tool so that you can build your own world or you're just following the trend? Be a risk taker. Think about how are you going to use your own tech tools so that you can explore your own passion, your own creativity. Not signing up for a coding class or a robotics class would not make you less of a student. But you might miss the opportunity to explore your own creativity, your own passion. Think about the ways that you use tech tools and how are you going to impact your own community. I know people have used technology in various forms so that they can make an impact in their own communities. Some students in the United States have developed an app so that they can let people who are experiencing homelessness access safe hygiene services. Some students have used virtual reality to learn first aid. Some people have used 3D printing in order for them to reconstruct the beaks of endangered species of birds. I know a Bolivian inventor who helped restore limbs of people using 3D printed prosthetics. Some students have used their video podcasts in order for them to tackle issues about racism, about mental health, about cyberbullying, and things that they are very passionate about. Think about the last time that you used a tech tool. Did it spark your creativity? As we move forward, I want you to think about how are you going to walk your own shoes of innovation? It's not just about what works. It's about what inspires us. It's not just about what fits. It's what propels us forward. It's not just about the style. It's what makes us reimagine and redefine our limits. Once in a while, I think about the road that I walked with my very broken and worn out shoes in the flooded streets of Manila. And I tell myself, remember, it's not just the shoes, it's where it took you. Thank you.